Hello, everybody. This is the one and only Mr. LP, Stephen Sykes, over at Live and Global Media. And I'm here with the Hampton Warriors in uh, Hampton, Virginia. And, I, well, we're in Chesapeake, but it's the Hampton Warriors. But I had a wonderful team captain here, Mr. Caleb Henderson. Mr. Henderson, how are you doing today? Uh, I'm doing well. Can't complain. You ready for the game today? Oh, I am. I've been waiting all week. <laughs> waiting all week. It's time to get down to it. Amen. So what position and what role you play besides the captain? What position you play? I play point guard. You know, point guard, set the tone, set the pace for the team, find an open guy, knock down an open shot. You know, pretty pretty simple. Now, how old are you, young man? Uh, 27. How does, it, how does it feel being a young man in this game and having to come up with all following the structure of the coaches and giving and derivating the, all the information and stuff like that? How does it feel to, to be able to do that? Um, it feels great. You know, it also gives you a, a challenge a little bit, you know, challenge yourself. Understand that it's not always about you. It's not always about you, you know. Listen to the coach, you listen to your teammates, you follow that system, and you'll find success. You know, especially being a coach in my own profession, you know, you got to have people to buy into the system, and that makes it a little bit easier, you know. What other work do you do besides playing basketball, sir? Say that one more time. What other profession and things you doing besides playing basketball? Uh, well, I own a business right now. Uh, it's called Faith Walking. Amen. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, me and my friends, we started a Faith Walking clothing line brand. It's, faith is a language, and we speak it through apparel. And uh, that's something I do now on the side, and also I teach. Amen. What grade do you, uh, what grade and subject you teach? Well, I, ninth through 12th, I have the special ed kids, uh, autism. I teach autism students, also from the same uh, population of emotionally disturbed. How does it feel to be take uh, so you have to take a leadership role in all those different things? What kind of lessons that you've learned from basketball that help you apply there or vice versa? Um it's like like I say, it's always about teaching. You know, it's always about in order to teach you must have to learn first. You know, you have to put yourself in those positions where, okay, I may this person may didn't resonate as well to this type of coaching. So it kind of reels you back in to understand, well, how did I learn? Well, how was I taught? How was I receptive to what my coaches or what my teachers told me? And it brings it full face to that point, you know. Now, tell me, are you originally from the area? Uh, well, I was born in New Orleans, Louisiana. Oh, I just came. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, yes. The city alive, baby. Oh, man, I, I, I was hanging around in Gretna and Metairie oh, and everything yeah. all that. Oh, I, I, down there. I, I'm trying to get used to the East Bank, West Bank deal, but everything is all north south side, but they call it East and West. I never get that. That East West connected, man, and they get you there, you know? How did you feel, how did you feel transitioning from there to the East Coast and everything? Um, well, you know, I've been here pretty much all my life now. You know, I made this home. I, all my immediate family is still in Louisiana, so I still got kind of a best of both worlds, you know. Down south, you get a lot of friendliness. You know, you got a lot of people that are there. Uh, on the East Coast, is, you know, it's a little more faster pace, a little bit more faster pace, so you got to pick up your pace with it, too. You know? I noticed that when I was rolling through there, that everybody laid back. I was like, hey, you're tired. Oh, I'll get to that little I'll get to a little later. You know, <laughs> ain't no big deal right now. I'll try to get you to get out of the daiquiri phase. <laughs> Walk around the mall with one. Exactly. Days. Pretty, pretty much today. So what are you guys looking forward to? You guys, season comes to the close. You're about to win this game, go win tomorrow, and you try to win the championship. What steps that you as a team trying to do to help prepare a little bit more? Um, continue to grow, you know, continue to grow, find out our spots on the court, win these next two games and really hone into what we have our opponents coming up. We played guys before, really get into the film study, listening to our coaches. You know, the basic things like at this point in the season, you know, everybody's a little banged up. You know, everybody's a little banged Everybody up. It's a part of every part of the game, you know, nursing your injuries, nursing your little ailments and getting back to the drawing board, understanding what can we tweak here and there to get us to the next level, you know, to get us to that championship level. So. One more question. I know you got to get back to your team and things like that. What are your goals for the rest of this year going forward? Uh, looking to win out, you know, individually or a team? Both, I'm sorry. Um, as a team, win out, of course, bring home the championship here for the ECBL. And also individually, just continue to work my assist to turnover ratio right now. I think it's 5 to 1. I want to at least get that to 7 to 1, you know, get my teammates more involved, hit the open shot when I have to. You know, when my number's called, just produce. How can people follow you, keep up with you and everything? Um, right now, like I told you with my business, we got our social media page launching soon. It's going to be Faith Walking. And, um, you have an email yet for that? Uh, yes, I do. It's called uh, faithwalking. Faithwalking. Faith.walking at myshopify.com. So it's faith.walking. Myshopify.com. And also, I don't have any personal um, social media right now. I took a step back. That's not a problem. A little distracting. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. We're going to step it in more than the camera. We don't want to lose you. Sorry. But uh, definitely, uh, faithwalking.com and social media, everybody got to take a break. For them. Even the things that you love, you got to take a break. Definitely do. Come back, center, and grow. Yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. You hit the nail on the head. It's about growth. 
and uh, what the Lord has been taking me through lately, these past couple months, past couple years in my life, is about growing in Him, and He'll put me in a different places where my light can shine. You know, where my light can shine. I'm a regular guy, average person, and He uses me in great, great ways. So that's all I can work. With. We need more of that in this world. God bless you, bro. Thank you very much, man. I appreciate you it. Know, you have a blessing. You too. Thank you.